how would the Acer Nitro 5 with a new 11th generation Intel processor handle 4K and 8K footage within Premiere Pro. So this is a quick follow-up video to my previous review on the Acer Nitro 5 and whether it's a good budget-friendly computer for editing. We've got some 4K and 8K footage from cameras like the Sony FX6, the Canon SL3, the EOS R, and the Fujifilm X-T4, as well as the Canon R5. So let's start with the Canon SL2 or 250D. Now this H.264 4K file should run without no problems, and it does, quick and snappy as we would expect. And now let's look at the 4K from the EOS R. This H.264 4K file should run with no problems, and it does, just as quick and snappy as we would expect. Okay, moving on to the Sony FX6, and we're now leaving H.264 for 265. So this is H.265 422, 500 megabits per second footage, and it's in 50 frames per second. And there's no issues here. That Sony XAVC is a nice wrapper. And now for the Fujifilm X-T4, uh, we've got some H.265 10-bit footage and 4K 30 frames per second. And this 420 all i 400 megabits per second runs just as smooth and snappy. And now it becomes a bit trickier as we move on to the Canon R5 footage. And I was a bit surprised by the results. So let's start with 4K 422 25 frames per second. And I would say that it's struggling a bit here. It's tolerable if you're only doing a short video, maybe. And here I just threw a F-log LUT onto the footage to see what it did. And I think it looks pretty good. Now the 4K 42 60 frames per second is definitely beyond what this little computer likes. But then again, if we take a look at the FX6 footage, which is basically the same specs, except it's 50 frames per second, that runs pretty smooth. So I guess if you're a Sony shooter, you don't need as much horsepower to edit your footage. And now for the big surprise, the 8K RAW. And honestly, I wasn't expecting much here, but lo and behold. So this one here is the 8K RAW straight out of camera and it runs way better than the 4K 60. And here's the same one with the Fujifilm LUT. And for some reason, I had to render the footage after I applied the correction LUT. So maybe that has to do with the fact that it's raw footage. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you know. So anyway, as unscientific as this test is, I still found it a bit interesting to watch and maybe it'll help you to make a decision on whether you think the Acer Nitro 5 is a good option for you if you're looking for a budget-friendly laptop for video editing. And if you're curious uh, about the review I did, then I will leave a link up here or maybe up there. I haven't decided yet. Uh, but anyway, please consider leaving a thumbs up if you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one. Hey då!